Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There. I only had half a cup of coffee this morning, so right on. All the way now. So, I, yeah, I brought this pin from when I was in nursery school here at this church uh, in 1980. So that is so, so, so long ago, isn't it? That is, you know what they call the music that came out during this time, oldies now? That's painful for me. What is it? Huh? Oh, I'll play it for you in the car later. But when I started in Sunday school here, in nursery school, there was a lot more children in the congregation. And... We, we all had these pins because it was a lot harder to remember all of the names of all the children. There were so many children. And if you want to see the pictures of them, they're still downstairs. You can see me when I was like Ben's age. Yeah, yeah, I was your age once. And I won't ask you to tell him about the stuff that I got away with here because he's up to enough things as it is right now. But it is so important to have these cherished memories of, I mean, it's just a little button, right? But these cherished memories about where we came from and, and how we, we were remembered by the rest of the community that, that's around us, especially our, our Christian community. You know, there are parts of the Bible that really get picked on for being boring. Has anyone here tried to read through the Bible and found certain sections? Oh, this is so boring. And it's usually the list of what? What do you find boring in the Bible? It's okay. Safe environment. We can talk about our faith, even critically here. The action Bible. The graphic novel. The graphic, yes. Okay. Lots of pictures. So for all you grown ups that are finding the Bible boring, you just need to get more pictures. Okay, just get an action Bible and just, it works. But there are parts of the Bible that aren't deeply covered by the action Bible, and that's the lists of names. Leviticus and Deuteronomy and Numbers, those books of the Bible have a whole lot of names. And then you get the Chronicles, and it has a whole pile of names. You even start off some of the Gospels, and there are long lists of names there. Why? One, yeah, so we know who's in the story, who's involved, but why else? So that we know how all of these different people connect to Jesus. Right on, man. And I remember that I was connected to Jesus, even as a, well, in that case, I think I was two when I got the button. Yeah. <laughs> they trust, yeah. You could trust children with sharp objects when they were two back in those days. We tougher skin, it didn't really. Don't tell lies in church. Don't tell lies in church. <laughs> this is not going in any. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> I'm getting a great dose of humility. I thank you all. But. My name was on a button, and so I am remembered, just like those others that are in the Bible. And your name is recorded on church records, and our names are, and we've gone through all of this with the annual meetings, is remembering who we are and who is with us is so important. And the session is now working on a directory so we can make sure that we're staying connected and communicating with people, which is so important. And yes, there are times where we sit back and we remember people that they're not in front of us, but we knew their name and they knew they were a part of this fellowship and we look forward to them and to the fellowship God is keeping in his kingdom where our names are written down also in the book of life. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the people who remember us. Thank you for the names that have been all around us in life, who have encouraged and inspired our faith. Lord, we thank you especially for those who 
are no longer with us here, but are with you who are waiting for our fellowship to be reunited. Lord, that we can always remember that once our name is put down in your book, it is never lost or forgotten. Lord, we're thankful for all the names in the Bible, even though it's sometimes hard to read them all. Remember that there is a multitude of people who have worked to serve you, who have struggled to be faithful, just like us. Lord, we, we pray all this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen.